Welcome to another Tuesday Tech Tip of 45 Drives. Brett Kelly here. Uh, this week, I'm continuing on the OpenCast Linux theme. Uh, actually, this was a challenge that I was working through this week, so it's very uh, front and center of mind, so I figured we'd talk about it. Building the OpenCast source code with DKMS. So what we're gonna do in this video is first, I'm gonna tell you what DKMS is. We're gonna go over why it's necessary, and then we're gonna hop, open, uh, hop over to my workstation and we're gonna go through the process on how to build this so you could do it at home. So first of all, what is DKMS? DKMS is the Dynamic Kernel Module Support. It is an open source tool um, that was developed by Dell, released to the open source community, and its purpose is to dynamically rebuild out of tree kernel modules whenever your kernel changes. Traditionally, uh, a kernel module or a device driver in Windows terms, if, if you're more familiar with that, is built right into the Linux kernel. When it's rebuilt and distributed for an update, all of the packages in that tree also got rebuilt and distributed. If you have some code, ZFS, OpenCast, that aren't natively in the Linux kernel yet, whenever you bump your rev on the next version of your kernel, your modules won't be compiled for that kernel anymore. Therefore, they stop working. So to avoid this problem, we use DKMS. So that's the general what and why of DKMS. In particular, for this video, why it's so important that you have to build your OpenCast modules with DKMS is the minute you update that kernel, which is fairly common in CentOS or just about in any Linux distribution, where we have storage devices living on top of this, if that module is suddenly not there anymore, our storage pool is going to not be present. Our OSDs aren't going to start. And then our enterprise storage capacity and, and all that great stuff falls apart. So it is imperative that the kernel modules are always loaded again. So that's why we need to package OpenCast with DKMS. So I showed you guys a couple weeks ago the playbooks on how you can install this. Those are from the developers and they're great, but they do install, install from source code. Meaning that when you do update, if you did build on top of them, this could happen to you. So uh, why don't we get right into it? We'll go over to my workstation and I'll show you how you can take the source code directly from um, Intel's GitHub, the OpenCast GitHub, build it with DKMS, and then just live safe and sound that your data will always start up properly whenever you update your kernel. Okay, so here we are at the terminal. Let's get into it. We're going to build OpenCast Linux with DKMS. We'll build the kernel mod specifically, we'll build the kernel modules with DKMS so that they recompile with any new kernel that comes in. And then last step, we'll make and install the user space tools as well. Those are not uh, those do not have to be built under DKMS as they don't depend on the kernel. So uh, I've got the overview of the steps on the side here so we can see, and uh, I'm going to talk through it as we do each one. So first of all, let's, uh, let's just pull down the source code. So I'll just leave that in the home directory where I am right now. So let's copy the link address. And let's untar it. Thought it froze. I just forgot to press enter. Uh, LS. Okay, so that's everything in here. So we don't really have to change any of the source code. The only thing that we do need is we have to create a dkms.conf file, and that's what dkms is going to read and kind of that's the instructions it's going to follow to rebuild itself each time. So I already have one of these prepared, but I'll go through each of it because this was kind of the um, the only kind of gotcha in the whole process. So let's take a look at this dkms.conf. So we specify the package name, OpenCast Linux. We specify the package version. Um, Pre-build, we needed to run configure, which is one of the configure scripts in the source code directory. Sorry for that bell sound. Um, auto install is yes, so that's very important when the next kernel comes around. Not only will it build, for the new kernel, it makes sure that it installs the kernel modules as well. Um, make clean for the clean command, and very importantly, at least for this source, um, you have to tell it what make command. You don't have to, but you 
the default it uses uh, cause issues, at least when building OpenCast. So it's very important that we have the uh, single brackets around the make command here. That way it will not try to uh, use the kind of prefix options that it, it'll use by default, which causes some issues building. You just want a clean make. Um, then we give it the name of each module that's being made, and then it's kind of in an array, so 0 and 1, so cast disk, cast cache, those are the two array, uh, two kernel modules we're building. Anyway, so this will, this is a working DKMS comp for building OpenCast. If you pull this at home, uh, this exact same file should work for you, no problems. Okay, so that's there. The next thing is we have to copy all this code over to uh, user slash SRC. Um, because that's where the default path is that DKMS goes looking for all these files. That can be changed, but why? Default's fine. So I'm going to do a simple copy dash A. Well, actually, I'm going to back out one. I'm going to copy dash A, open cast Linux, user, src, um, open cast Linux. Um, and the key is we got to drop the V here because the syntax is important. It needs the module name dash the version name or version number. Sorry, uh, zero two eighty six. Uh, looks good. Uh, there we go. So that's there. Um, now our DKMS conf is in place. Our source code is in the right spot. Let's add it, number 5 here, let's add it to DKMS so it's aware. Because if we ran a DKMS status right now, it sees nothing. So add, and it's the name of the module, so that, the version. You know what? I'm not typing that out, I'm lazy. Okay, good, added. And a little extra step, I'm going to run DKMS status after each so we can see. So now it sees the codes there. So Essentially, all we've done said, here's some source. Um, now we have to tell it to build it. So, same idea as before. Instead of add, we're just going to build. So, we'll wait a second. So, essentially, at this stage, DKMS is doing uh, what we would do if we just went in the source code, ran configure, then we ran make, and then make install. Uh, DKMS is just going to do that for us. So, we'll sit and watch as it does that. Okay, so our build's completed. So if I run status now, it'll show the, you can see up here, this was before it said module version and it's added. Now it says module version and the kernel and architect architecture that it's been built for. So it's been built, so it's compiled, but now last step, we have to install it. And again, I am lazy, so I'll, I'm going to cut and copy. There we go. And install. Okay, all done. So let's do our DKMS status again. And kind of same output as before module, version, kernel, architecture. And now it is installed. So what does that mean it's installed? I can go ls mod. And I'm going to grep for CAS. I guess I have to load them first. Disk and cache. And then if I, so there's my two loaded modules. Um, those should remember after reboot. If not, you might have to put a mod, uh, a line in uh, mod probe. Um, sorry, not mod probe. Um, uh, what is it? Modules load D. Yeah. But from my experience, um, uh, these will persist on a reboot after you do that initial mod pro, pro yeah, mod pro. <laughs> um, so that's it. Uh, I still have to build the user space tools, but that's essentially the process. So uh, the source code's there. Um, we've added it to DKMS. We've built it with DKMS, then we've installed it. So whenever we get a new kernel update on the system, I can update. It'll rebuild casts for me, and it'll work, which is what we all want. Um, if say you wanted, the, if there was a different version, of course, like because this is very specifically for this version of OpenCast, 
uh, when the next major release comes out, you'd follow the same process, essentially. Let me go back to this directory here. You would just make another one of these, and you'd name it accordingly. Open cat, open dot ca or dash cast as Linux 20.04, most likely will be the next release. And um, just repeat the process. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's just do the last task here and uh, move on. So, um, like I said, the modules are loaded, but the tools you need to actually build these things, like cast ADM, not found. Great, because we didn't install it, right? So, now let's just manually run configure. So this process would be pretty much the exact same as they have it documented on their GitHub, where this doesn't matter about um, which kernel you've installed them against. They're just the user space tools. Uh, you're good to go. So we're just going to repeat this process again and uh, get the user space tools in. Okay, so this is configured. So on their GitHub, they say just run make now, which is cool, but I don't want to make the kernel modules again. I just want to make the user space tools. So if I look in the make file, the directories that it's actually going to run in is modules, cascadm, and utils. Um, we already did modules, so we're just going to do cascadm and utils. So I'm just going to go in cascadm and go make. Okay, that's done. And I'm going to go make install. Done back out, go over to utils, we're going to make, it's already all up to date, make, install, that's done. So now if I run cas adm, there's my command, it's it's there, so that's great. Uh, so like for example you do dash p dash one, this would show you the stats on the drive, but I don't have one running right now. But that's how we get it installed. The cast modules will survive a kernel update and user space tools are there. So there you have it, the what, why, and how of DKMS, uh, in particular, in this case, for OpenCast Linux. Um, yes, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned some. As always, we want to hear from you. If you have any questions, comments, anything at all, I'm on the OpenCast theme. Probably will do a couple more videos. If you guys want to see something else, let me know. Um, catch you all next week.